What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Rocky Mardan and I'm back with another excited reggae video tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the, the Strege or the Skia guitar sounding in your DAW. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to, sus to subscribe. Um, click the bell icon, turn on your post notification for further updated posts. So, um, this is a rhythm that I um, I dropped recently. I'm going to leave it in the description and I'm going to also leave it in the time card in the little icon above so you guys can check out the beat and hear out the beat and hear how the beat is sound and if you like it, just let me know. Alright, so, um, I'm going to show you guys how to get the skia or the strege, uh, reggae sounding guitar. So, make we get into this. So, I have the loop out of this last beat that I made. So, it's like this. I'm just solo it by itself um mute solo so it's like this all right so so far it kind of dry and it also nothing like what we want it to sound we want it to sound strike it strike it we want it to sound that way it's very very easy i'm going to show you guys how to do that so in order to get the reggae sound, um, it's, it's very, very simple, people. It's nothing strange. You can do it. You can do this two way. You can either do this by duplicate, duplicate the cards or you can add a delay to get the sound. So I'm going to show you the two way, right? So first thing, I'm going to highlight all of the cards, them, all of these cards right here, all of them. Highlight them. Then we can duplicate them. This is the first way. You can do this. Right? And you turn on the second ones just like this, and it's gonna be like this. In reality, it sounds good, it can go on. Once you start at the reverb, you can change it, you can push it further back um, in the background, or you can bring it up closer or make it wider if you give, if you give it a better sounding dimension if you want. However, um, me do a lot of, lot of this and get away. You know, after you do this, you can, but you don't have to. I'm going to show you the next option. So, I'm going to just play this. I'm going to hear it sound. I want to tell me what I think. I'm going to just play it with, with um, I'm going to play this with, I'm going to play this with the drums. I'm going to just play this with the drums. So, on the percussion that I have. Right, maybe the bass guitar, just a little, to get that feeling. Right, so I'm just gonna highlight all of them, yeah? and just turn them down a little. Right, so as you can see, it's so nice when you start at your reverb, as we say, it will really sound, it will sound better. Um, but that is just option one, what we can do. Now, let me show no option two, right? So we are going to the guitar sound again. I'll just delete this. Um, i just add a new one, right? Let's work. Add a new one, and then I'll show no. So it, it normal, straight. All right, so first thing we are going to do, we are going to add, we are going to add, um, if you use Studio One, or you, it, it easy. If I use FL Studio Pro Tools, any one of them, it easy. You just add a, a effect channel or effects bus, right? And we're going to want to add a delay. You can use any delay, right? Me prefer a delay where will work with the host than what no work with the host, if you know what I mean. Ignore that sound. Just ignore that sound, right? Or, you know, I could just not use this one. You know, I could use it. So, um, just get a delay, simple. Go for any one of the preset and ensure say the pump ping pong mode. Or you can just you can. I'm sure you can just put it at default. Just select ping pong right here, so it on ping pong mode. One of the reasons why I made us select classic are because it already can give you the preset with with me or what you want or what you think it for use. <clears throat> All right, then may I just send some of the signals 
to that channel. So it will sound something like this. So I'm going to just mute it. Alright. All by itself. That no sound like what we want to sound. So now we are, we are turning on the delay. We are turning on the delay first. We need to get it. So um, one of the reasons why I recommend this um, this delay because this delay work with the host. As you can as you can see, you can select host or you can select BPM and it follow along with the BPM and give you that timing. So you know half or you know have too much delay in the background because you don't want it off. You want it so nice and straggy. So we just have to take time. Move the knob. We are turn we are turn off everything. We are doing this from scratch. We are left everything as default and just work with the delay and the feedback. So make we start. So we just have to add some feedback to it. Ensure so we are get the sound. Alright, so we have the sound right now, so we just need to work on it some more, bring it up some more. Make we see if we can do that. Make we add some more um, delay. Simple. And if you add a if you add a reverb to this right now, if you add a reverb bus, so add a next one. We don't add no big reverb right now. So we just add a simple reverb. Or we can add even a Let's see if we can add um let's see if we can add this reverb. Any reverb will work still. And then um, I send some of the signal from the same guitar to the reverb same way. Right. Let's have final default preset. Good. Um, we could use something bright. And you, you can you can add an EQ to your reverb or to your delay if you want. Like me, norm me normally compress the signals. Like me normally compress them. Me normally EQ them. I kind of bring up the presence a little more. Kind of have it in the mix. So that means when they... Because basically, me just mix the, my instruments, instrumental only. The engineer, when they mix the, the, the complete song, they normally do what they do. But me normally bring the, bring the instrument right are the instruments to a specific location where me need it to be right and it's very simple and it's all about creativity it's not about a standard or a rule it's about your your, your creativeness where you have in your brain so anyhow you think that you want your mix to be you can make it be that way as long as you follow like just the standard guidelines of not distorting the mix because if you distort the mix then the mix are gonna sound crappy right so you don't want that you want the mix to be nice and and mellow you get me so it all depends upon your creativeness at the end of the day so um as we say me normally eq or compress the signal when you eq and compress the signal it kind of make the, the least little sounds it kind of bring them up like wait wait like the little draw strings and all of that it just make it sound real nice trust me yeah so without flat simple and if you add an EQ to, to the guitar we could just add an EQ for EQ sake right and they would we don't stick off some of the lows um we don't really have a preset we just take off some of the lows Right, make we um boot some more the the high mid frequency. Mm -hmm. 
sorry about that um so my time is most the problem clean up some of the low end because we want we just want 150 Alright, so for EQ sake, we just kind of just make a little small movements. Them, are, them are, is not like how you for EQ. I mean, I'm not going to tell you guys how for EQ you are, how for EQ your guitar or whatever. I'm mean, just trying to show you so you can add some ear for us, make it sound brighter. And basically that's how you get the, 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 the guitar to sound like Strege. So we add all of the Ursa elements them to, to this and we just go along. And that's that's how you add it, the, get the Strege sound in guitar. I hope this video was simple, short, and hope you guys learned something from it. So, if you really enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want to see more videos, small info, simple tips and tricks, then you can just let me know in the comment box as usual and you know me will do it. So, thank you guys and hope you guys enjoy. Peace and I'm out.